What's up, Shinobis? Welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. We gotta finish our rounds today, or this episode. Don't mind me, just this is normal occurrence, just standing on the desk. Oh my god, it did not say, bro. Alright, well, um, give me a sec. So how the hell do I know when we can save? Or when it does save? Because we can't, you can't manually save it. There's nothing in the options there's like general and stuff that's just language you know accessibility controls video sound <sighs> oh boy oh boy oh boy look at us being overachievers already knowing where to go they don't know that we travel back in time oh my okay Ho wait a minute so remember last time how those buttons just stayed on the screen that wasn't supposed to happen we might have just saved our asses <gasps> uh dressing uh, Maybe rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. Never mind. She's still pissed off at us. Sick. Well, at least we know if something like that happens again, where the buttons don't disappear after, like, a couple seconds, uh, we... Something wrong. All right. What do we got to do today? Schedule updated. So, 301, we got to pop some pills. 303, check for heartbeats. And 304... Get a nice, fresh cut. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's task. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I, Doc, you ain't gotta worry about that. We're fine. All right, 301. You want some pills to pop? Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Hmm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though and it can give you heartburn. I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us so early. That's good. Last night's test show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medicine. Whatever you think will help. All right, let's see then. So I'll try to get the patients reading to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. So once you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. We can only give her three pills. And we got to reach the black bar, I'm assuming. Okay, well, obviously, this one. And then this one. Okay, so the blue one, blue one got to stay there. For sure, for sure. Oh, that's garbage. I think this one for sure you need. Oh. Right? Yes. Hell yeah. We got an A, baby. That's all we need. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. Adios. So 303, we got to give the asthma dude a quick check to the heart. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. All right, whatever you say, doctor. I like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so. But don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time. But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Yeah, okay. All right, good. I was going to do it either way. Uh, press the button shown on the screen at the right moment. Hold L when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Oh, I see. I'm so concentrated right now. Easy money. DJ hero, guitar hero, rock band, all them shits paid off, man. That really was only cold for a second. Eh, see, told you. I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? No, don't worry. Have you heard of asthma? We'll get this under control. Have you heard of asthma? Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Can you? From like an asthma attack, right? No, don't worry. Never mind. What do I know? I mean, uh, uh, it would be uh, asthma, but we're running some more tests, or it could be asthma. And if it is asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. 
Yeah, you just gotta run around with steroids, right? With your inhaler. Good morning, Miss Helmig. What a name. Uh, you just had thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. It's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery. Once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd hate to have to spend the last days of the year stuck in here. I'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. I was going to say structures. Uh, that would be inappropriate. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. This is actually insanely difficult. Okay, there you go. Because, <laughs> like, you don't realize the button placement is not, like, the most optimal. Like, it doesn't give it to you in, like, its best interest. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> well, what an easy day at work. Holy shit. I mean, granted, it's just the beginning of the shift, but... I don't know how long our days are. Doctor, I'm done. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Hell yeah. Oh, we got an S for ass. I got another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. Hell no, that shit put me in a coma almost. We taking the stairs. I'm not gonna lie, uh, she told us to meet with a doctor. Don't remember the doctor's name. Okay, gotta go all the way down. There's some more stairs. Oh, that's it. And then to the right. Is this it? The hospital archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasure is made out of old moldy paper. The smell is anything to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. That must smell disgusting. I was gonna say, um, do people not like the dock? And is this also not the basement? She did tell me go all the way to the right, right? Unless she meant my other right? Yep, I guess so. Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Uh, yeah, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then? So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? All right, I get it. You're busy? Yeah, <laughs> I'm very busy, yeah. Prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Kukowski. You want to see a magic trick? Mm -mm. I've only been asked that once, or I've only seen that once asked in movies, and it didn't lead uh, to something good. How about a magic trick? <laughs> it's... Wow, it's so shiny in here. I know hospitals are like a thousand percent clean, but this lab, holy. <gasps> it's a mole. I was going to say porcupine, but he didn't have the spikes and stuff. I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? <laughs> and what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results for the doc. Indeed, indeed. So why are you wasting your time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. So what's your name, buddy? The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time with matching them to the samples. Ah, okay, yeah. Understandable. Great believer in shortcuts, you know. The day comes so much more efficient if one reduces the distance between A and B. Hell yeah, baby. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work. And now, you too can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, that's all. Don't drop it. Damn it. You're a doctor. You can't be doing shit like this. Because now, not only... Wait, is the one by my foot cracked? With our luck, that's the one that we needed. But I was going to say, not only is that one broken, everybody else's blood is now mixed up. Your paperwork... Doesn't mean shit now. Why do the samples have different colored lids? Oh, maybe they're color coordinated? Uh, that's my sorting system. Ah, okay, perfect. 
All right, so he's not as stupid. He's just, you know, clumsy. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. Okay. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. You say it's quite simple, but okay. Are you shitting me? Okay, so it forms a square like that. Got it. So then this one should have red and yellow together. Right there. Yep. Okay, perfect. This one should have green and yellow. Okay, this was actually not as complicated. So this one needs green and pink. Should be this one. Yeah, and red and green. Hell yeah. He actually has a pretty decent sorting system. Doctor, I have your blood. Not yours, but you know what I mean. Eagle. And why did it take so long? You don't want to know. Did the bus to the lab not turn up? You know what, Doc? If we wasn't on the clock... No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yeah. Do you see Dr. Halil here, tending to the patients on the third floor? No. You don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. What the? Man. All right, whatever, man. You're the one that sent me down there because you didn't want to do it. Since I'm off the clock, fuck you. That's because of that. Coming in an extra five minutes late tomorrow. How's that for a late bus? Ingrid, I'm going home. Oh, fuck. It is dark out here. Somebody can get murdered. Oh, that wasn't me. And this stupid ass bus ain't in operation. Gotta walk all the way home. Shit, I'll tell you what though. He's probably in very, very good peak condition. Oh, who are you? Like very healthy, always walking everywhere, all the time. This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. Is, is that it? The lonchera's still there, but there's no lights. Damn, the town shuts down early. Oh, who are you? What do you want, pipsqueak? Oh, are you the bouncer? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Okay, probably not the bouncer. <gasps> hey, I know you. You're one of the hospital gang, aren't you? One of that little bossy body's pals. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Okay, whatever beef y'all got. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got some options. Do we go into the pub or do we talk to the old lady? We're going to drink, boys. Never mind, we're too tired. Finally clocking out for the day, huh? Yeah, at long last. You're still here too, I see. Still? Please. I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So what now? Off to paint the town red? Nope, I'm not Doja Cat. I can still cut a rug on the dance floor. Oh, lady. Nobody says that shit. Well, let's go to bed. Oh, man, he's jumping and jiving. Good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. Oh, today's going to be a shit day then. That's what I would say right now if I were that kind of guy who cheers himself up in the mirror every morning. Yeah, you and me too, buddy. We ain't morning peoples. Almost seven years of studying medicine and I can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. Hell yeah. Maybe I do have what it takes. I mean, sounds like that's all you need, huh? Well, back to bed. Okay, we're gonna make it a shorter episode just cause I don't wanna like continue and then the same thing happened where it just like resets everything. So I think what we'll do from here forward is complete a day, end the episode and then follow it up like that just to avoid confusion and all that. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and like the video, sub, click the bell icon, follow me on Twitter, let me see in the comments, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.